Two years ago, I found a cyst on my upper right cheek and had it removed. In just one week, in the area that I had the cyst, I had two quarter size bubbles of pus. Within a month's time, it spread to a third of my face. It's physically painful, but it's definitely more emotionally painful. I can't even explain what it is, and doctors surely can't. So I have some ideas for really new and excellent treatments that we could initiate and start that would hopefully help these sites heal. Dr. Botrick joins us and, you know, without further ado, you know all the struggles Missy's been going through, not, a, not only emotionally, but trying to get a diagnosis. So what did you find in your evaluation? It really looks like a, an inflammatory condition called pyoderma gangrenosum. And what we think happens is the immune system becomes dysregulated and there's almost an excessive or an exuberant response of inflammation that we think may be triggered or fueled by injury. So the fact that she had that procedure to begin with really set up this process that we called pathergy, where all of these inflammatory cells rush to the area, but rather than healing the wound, they just remain inflamed and you get these chronic ulcers that just don't heal. And so, of course, what Missy and everyone else wants to know is, what does that mean and does that give Missy hope? So she mentioned she's tried a number of therapies and because we think that there's just too much inflammation in this condition, the therapies are really aimed at decreasing that level of inflammation. So there is a whole new horizon of medications called TNF-alpha inhibitors. And TNF-alpha is a chemical that your body releases that stimulates inflammation in the body. And these biologic medicines really either bind or reduce the amount of TNF-alpha that's circulating. Because this is such a rare condition, I mean, it's really like one in 100,000 who has pyoderma gangrenosum, there aren't a lot of medicines that are specifically approved mm -hmm. for this. But we're going to be using it in sort of an off label way that we think will actually really and, help. And prognosis, what do you, what do you predict her scars, her, her skin will look like after the, it's good, it will take several months, correct? Exactly, so what we'll do is we'll really kind of overlap the medicines she's taking with this. And usually people within two or three months really notice healing. And then you'll decrease that inflammation that in general it makes you more prone to these with every small injury. And at that point there, there's more hope too in terms of the cosmetic appearance, yeah. Treating, yes. treating with lasers and other things. So really quickly, Missy, hope, that word that's been missing in the lexicon when you've gone to try to figure out what's going on, what do you feel now? Do you feel hope? I do. Most of my other doctors had told me that with this disease that I would never be able to do any cosmetic things, and if I did, it would be very, very expensive. So that's lots of hope. If I could get it healed. And so this is an in injection, right? And I know that I'm not the treating physician, but today you want to go ahead and begin if, if Missy is yes. okay. willing. Perfect. So we're going to go ahead and just clean off this area. So this is really meant to decrease that chemical in Missy that we think is fueling the inflammation. It's a fusion protein that's actually binding it in her blood. And decreasing the downstream effects of it. So this is an injection, it's just a self-pen that she can use on her own. It would be once a week. And the hope is that within a month, we'll be able to taper you down off of the cyclosporin and some of the other medications that you're taking, which I know also have had a lot of side effects and possible concerns for your kidneys. Well, this is to me exciting because this means there's hope. And my hope is that you will come back on the show and share your recovery with us because every time someone deals with a problem like this, they feel like there's no hope. And it would be so great if you would come back oh, and yeah, share yeah. your recovery with us. <laughs> Missy, thank you for being so brave. Dr. Basra, thank you as well for what you've done for Missy.